So as a reminder, I've been going through and I've been answering your Padlet questions and organizing and color coding them. So you can take a look at that. The last question I wanted to hit on was this how long, about how long does it take to build up a good retirement fund? So Dave's going to run through some examples and these are based on generally a 30 year length and it's a pretty good retirement amount that they end up with if you use 30 years. And that's saying that you start your retirement savings at age 30. If you follow the advice in this yellow column of starting it now when you turn 18, when you get your first full-time job, you're going to have even more money. But let's just for the sake of things say that you start when you're 30 and you build your retirement account up for 30 years. That's a really good time length to aim for. And let's take a look at those numbers. Now, how many of you in here are 27 years old or younger? Raise your hand. Good. So let's use you guys as an example. Let's say we had a 27-year-old couple in here, and it took them three years of blood, sweat, and tears, beans, and rice to go, baby step one is $1,000, baby step two is they paid off all their debts, that took them a two and a half years, and then baby step three is it took them another little six months to finish off baby step three, and they got a fully funded emergency fund. So you're 27 years old in here, and by the time you get through baby step one, two, and three, you're 30. You with me on that? See where I'm going? Let's look at the great American dream for just a second. Let's take that 30-year-old couple that is now free of debt except their home, and they partially fund a Roth IRA at $500 a month. They partially fund a Roth IRA at $500 a month. That's $6,000 a year. Put it in there, and they made 12% rate of return in their mutual funds then what would that be? $500 a month from age 30 to age 70 is $5.8 million. Tax free. That's six million bucks. I mean, wow. What if I'm half wrong? You're still going to be okay. That same couple, let's say they put 15% of their income into a 401k without a match. Now, they're an average couple, average in North America as of this moment. According to the Census Bureau, the average household income is $40,000. If you make $40,000 a year and you save 15%, 15% 15 of 40000 is 6000 6000 is $500 a month. Same numbers we used a minute ago. So they put $500 a month into uh, just their 401k with no match in decent growth stock mutual funds that average just what the market average. They don't do any better. I mean, they're, they're below average in their fund picking. And they still end up with $5.8 million in the 401k. How fun would that be? How wild would that be? I mean, what if they did both? They'd have like $12 million. <laughs> you know what you can do if you have $12 million? Anything you want. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Do you understand that the interest is like a million dollars a year? It's like $86,000 a month, $83,000 a month? This is, this is hard to fathom. I mean, it takes about three months to buy everything you ever wanted. It takes about four more months to run your grown kid's life. <laughs> and now we're just bored. <laughs> I mean, this is hard to fathom emotionally, isn't it? It's hard to take in and believe. So wait, what if I'm way wrong? I mean, let's just say that these, these losers making $40,000 a year. Well, Dave, I don't like you saying that. Well, I mean, think about the numbers I just ran. I said from age 30 to age 70, they made $40,000 a year. They started at an average household income and in 40 years never got a raise. <laughs> That's a loser. <laughs> By definition. I mean, if you breathe in and out and show up, they'll give you a raise. <laughs> Eventually. Just, just Char Charlie's still breathing. I just feel bad. You know? <laughs> Eventually, you'll get a raise. Let's talk about it again. Let's review the baby steps. Baby step one. $1,000 in the bank. One more time. Baby step one is? $1,000. Baby step two is? Yes. Takes about a month for the first one. The second one takes an average of 18 to 24 months year and a half to two years to be debt free everything but the house gazelle intensity paying off the smallest to the largest and whew, finally get through that I don't have any payments but a house payment I could complete baby step three fairly quickly baby step three is three to six months, three to six months. I got ten or fifteen or twenty thousand dollars sitting there just for emergencies no payments but a house payment feels like financial peace 
Now I've gone past crisis and I'm ready to step over into wealth. And baby step four is 15% of your income. Baby step four is? 